Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. With a spot in the Super Bowl on the line, everything is on the line in today's conference championship matchup. It's the Falcons going up against the Seahawks. So let's go now to Atlanta, Georgia, where Jim and Phil are on the call. Welcome you to the NFC Championship game here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, and welcome to the NFC Championship game. A whole lot at stake here. The winner moves on to the Super Bowl. And, Phil, your thoughts before kickoff. Well, we know it's a big game, don't we, Jim? I mean, listen, up here in the booth, you and I, we're both a little nervous, and we're not even playing it. That's how big it is to think that you're one step away from from the Super Bowl, but just do your job. Think about what you have to do each play. If you do that, that'll take away the nerves and also keep you from making that big mistake. The Falcons are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Steven Hauschka ready to kick it away to start today's game. Trip to the Super Bowl is on the line as this conference championship game is underway. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Coming on to the field, he has been a model of consistency since coming into the league out of Boston College, quarterback Matt Ryan. An extra tight end on the field for this one. He runs with it right up the gut. Freeman's marked down after a gain of four. For this offense, one of the most consistent threats they've had since being a first-round pick in 2005 out of UAB is Roddy White. Yeah, he's an all-around player, Roddy White. He has shown how tough he is in his career in the NFL. And, boy, you are not second fiddle to anybody when Roddy White is one of your wide receivers. Richard Sherman last year even had some talk up for defensive player of the year. He was in the discussion. Jim, he's a really good corner, and if you ask him, he'll tell you he's a great corner. My man can get it done on the field, and he can talk some trash. Gets it out for the completion. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Falcons have it at the 34. And the tackle is made at the 41. 
the Falcons know that a fourth down conversion like that could be a momentum changer. Oh, sure it can. It gives everybody confidence. You get to call at least three more plays, you hope. And anytime you stay on the field longer in the NFL, the odds go up tremendously that you're going to get a score. Nice risk-reward play that time on the offensive side. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Two tight ends on the field here. Freeman's got it on the handoff. Thomas all over that offense and brings him down. We're early in this one, but already a crucial third and long play coming up. Oh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. The Falcons put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. The Falcons snap it at the 41. Ryan's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. Comes away with it. The Seahawks might have been caught off guard there on that fourth down play. Well, why? Why would you be caught off guard in a situation like this? You always have to be ready on the defensive side. That time they were not. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. We'll have one more play before the quarter expires. And that's a gain of 10. The Falcons still driving as the second quarter gets underway. This long drive continues. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Takes the hit, throws. Good job that time by the defense. They let the quarterback get outside the pocket, but they stay in place, they show their discipline, and there's nowhere to throw it. Second and ten. Here's the handoff. And that's a gain of maybe five. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Third and six. And now Ryan's going to take off. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. A first drive and a first touchdown.
Hard to cover these. Tight ends when they get into the end zone. Because they're fast, they're nimble, and they're big. So even if you cover them, they push off and get the touchdown catches. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Thomas is going to run this one out. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. So now as we go back to the field, we've got a good game going and an offense is trying to close the gap before halftime. The Seahawks take it from the 23. And he's taken down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Wilson's got it in the gun. Third down following the incompletion. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Ball is out, and it's a takeaway. What a good job by the defense. They've been so aggressive. They make the big hit, they get the fumble, and they recover it inside the opponent's 20. Man, their offense has got a great chance here. Freeman's met after a gain of three. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Matt Ryan will be taking this one from the gun. Second and goal from the six. And that's Thomas, who almost had the pick. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. The Seahawks lined up in the nickel. Third and goal from the six. Freeman's handed the football. The Seahawks signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Chip shot here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. We're nearing the half, and this game looks like it might be under control after that field goal. And what you got to do, you've got the lead. Keep things going. Don't take the old foot off the gas pedal. Man, stomp it and try to bury this team. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Falcons defense now is going to go nickel. First down at the 39. It's Jermaine Curse coming down with it. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that timeout. Those are big down the stretch. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, 
But a good play there and another incomplete pass. Second down and 10. Baldwin's got it and a first. That's his first reception today. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. First and 10. And it's complete to Zach Miller. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Falcons will look to keep the pressure on in the second half. The Seahawks are coming off a bad game, and they haven't been able to get out of that funk here today. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Falcons is on their opening drive. Tammy's going to make the catch in traffic, and that connection will lead to a gain of 29 yards. Same drive. He finds Jacob Tammy with the quick pass. And finally, on play 14, they score. That takes the lead up to seven. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. With this kick, the second half is underway. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Seahawks talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach... They have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The Seahawks take it from the 23. He's taken down at the 23. It's third down coming up. Miller's lined up outside on the right. Wilson from the shotgun reaches out and grabs it and that's a gain of 13 well don't look at the scoreboards which tells you you're down by a couple scores just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down first down at the 36 out of the eye here's the handoff Turbin's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second and six. He'll go ground. That gains a few. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Russell Wilson has it under center. Third down and three. Zach Miller makes the catch. Mark him down for another reception. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. First down at the 47. Baldwin's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. The Seahawks from the 37. The ball is fumbled. He's brought to a halt. That was a big fumble. that gives this offense a chance to put some distance. Between them here in the third quarter. Well, these are two good football teams we see out there today. So it comes down to who's going to make that big turnover 
That one there could be the difference in this game here today. Loss of three on the play. The Falcons get a first down. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Freeman's lined up in a single back formation. Delayed handoff. Hills all over the ball carrier. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating to this. The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Second down and 11. Ryan's going to scramble. That's Ryan connecting with Roddy White. Game 17. Welcome back to the action today. It's been all about the defenses. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Williams is in on the tackle. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down and seven. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. And a gain of four. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. This play call is for the fullback. That picks up seven. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Not able to get away from Chancellor. Looks like a penalty on the defense. Encroachment defense. Still second down. Inches to go. Second and goal from the into the end zone for the touchdown. for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. The Seahawks now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 17 to 0. Thomas is running this one out. They crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Seahawks offense back on the field, trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. First down coming up. They'll go right to the hurry-up. Won't use a timeout here. They're going to get him here for a sack. And now they're in the hurry-up. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Intercepted. Brings the play to an end. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. That's a gain of six. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. Just run the football. Don't try to be some genius and catch the defense off guard. 
manage the clock and just get this game over with. Freeman's taking the handoff. Gains 12. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Ryan's on the move. Finds his mark. That's another reception. Give him two. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show him something different here and keep him from scoring a touchdown? First and goal from the six. The give out of the eye. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. In his hands, complete touchdown. this bill there's certainly not a whole lot of sportsmanship down on the field right now yeah this is getting to a point where even I'm starting to feel bad for the losing team and maybe it is time to call off the uh, the proverbial dog and let this game just finish a little bit more mercifully the Seahawks have been flat out manhandled so far perhaps their special teams unit can change the momentum of this one. They need something to go their way. The score is 24 to 0. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Seahawks offense comes onto the field for a last play or two before this one's over. There's nothing they can do now to pull this one out, Phil. Yeah, it, it, listen, it, it's very tough to even get the courage or the energy to finish this game off in a situation like this because it's so disappointing. And I, I say to them, don't take any chances. Don't get hit again and just get off the field. Phil, you were in this position with the Giants to win the conference championship. To know you're going to the Super Bowl, how huge is it? Yeah, it, it, Jim, it's so huge. It, it's such a great feeling because of all the emotions, all the hard work, all the criticism you take, even when it's going well. But to accomplish this, it is great. Now, go to the Super Bowl and make it happen. So we have a conference champion, and the Super Bowl matchup is now all set. For Phil Simms and all the crew, Jim Nance saying we'll see you next at the Super Bowl. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.